Well guys, spring's really slow coming this year. It's the first sign of some ferns just now. I was walking up and saw these. And uh, I haven't been back here in a good week. Really been slacking this week. Um, that's my finished roof on my uh, lean-to structure there. We got a good like two or three inches, something ridiculous amount of rain the other day. And I wanted to come back here and see how I was holding up. Never made it back, but... Things don't look too wet or anything under here, but I need to spend some time out here while it's raining. I put a lot of bark, a lot of weight here on this roof. And uh, things around camp are going pretty good. Like I said, some of my, uh, some of the things I transplanted are taking a root. My comfrey and my spearmint are taking root. And some other stuff planted in here. I'm going to see if it takes, but yeah. I got a package in the mail today from my buddy Dale over at uh, Red Eye Survival. Sending me a little surprise today. So I thought we could open that up and uh, see what he sent me. And I still haven't had time to respond to everyone's comments on my last video. It's just been crazy this week. Uh, this is my teacup. And uh, it held one cup of tea. I got one cup of tea out of it. There are hairline cracks all through this thing. And I think that's just how this stone was when I was working. I had a lot of cracks going on and it was making it pretty challenging, but now it's just, it's leaking water out of that crack. So I'm probably gonna have to patch it up the best I can, but I don't know how much I'm gonna get out of this. My teacup. Soapstone is incredible for holding heat. I mean, it's it's the ultimate, it's using, it's coming, making a comeback. People are selling, Soapstone bowls now because so it's just superior for holding heat. Um, excellent. I think just that that uh, piece had a lot of hairline cracks in it. So it is what it is. So, Dale, thanks a lot, buddy. See, there's a note in there. Holy smoke, looks like there's all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, this looks awesome. All right, let me pull this stuff out and then uh, get back with you guys. Oh, geez, Dale, you're spoiling me, man. Let's yeah, check this stuff out. Look at this necklace here. That is really awesome. Dell made this, so I'll give you an idea of what's on here. Let's see here, you say there are black bear, beaver, lynx, uh, and bobcat claws on here. That's awesome. Look at that. That's really cool. Love that. Hey Dale, it's pretty cool I get to uh, see your latest work up close in person, man. Uh, Dale just made a video on making uh, the squirrel pouch, or squirrel hide rather, smoked it. It's a pretty cool video, you guys should check it out. Um, he made this, this is a squirrel pouch he made and smoked. Tanned himself, it's awesome. It smells great. And inside there's some sinew, man. All stuff I use all the time. It's an awesome knife. Cedar handle. Point you Dale napped. Sinew binding. Pitch glue. I'm gonna be using this guy. For sure. This is something I'm really excited about. Chaga. Still haven't found any around here. It's here. I used to see it and now when I go to look for it I can't find any. But I want, I'm excited to play with this. And I really wish my teacup was holding up because, you know, the, I hear this stuff makes a great tea, a great drink. We're going to make it work. Dale, you're going to see me using this stuff, and we might get a cup of tea out of this. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. 
and this is pretty cool. Yucca cordage already processed, yucca fibers. You know what I'm going to do with this stale? I've been wanting a really good fiber for a long time. There are, There is yucca up here if people plant it, but a lot of people uh, mind when I go asking them to steal their flower plant leaves. So I haven't got any of them for my own. They kind of look at me weird when I ask them, but so now I have my own. And uh, I want to make a really good fishing line. I think this stuff's strong enough to do it. I've been wanting to do that for a while. So you're ahead of me on that one. These cool furs and ermine. Dale, you have spoiled me the last couple of, last year with all these furs. I have a project I'm going to use them all for. I just haven't got around to it. You know, <laughs> you're going to see them one day. Uh, I have in mind what I'm going to use a lot of your furs for. Um, bobcat tail, pretty sweet, soft. So yeah, one of these days you're going to see uh, see all your furs on a project I have in my mind right now. But yeah. If you guys haven't seen uh, Dale's channel, it's just a great, great channel over at uh, Red Eye Survival. And man, I appreciate you sharing all this great stuff with me. It made my week. Alright, buddy. Thanks again.